Welcome to clickmydesire.com. Let me discuss the project about automatic dynamic texture segmentation using local descriptions and optical flow. In this paper, we propose a new method based on both appearance and motion information for the segmentation of dynamic textures. For the appearance of dynamic texture, we use local spatial texture descriptors to describe the spatial mode of dynamic texture for the motion of dynamic texture. We use the optical flow and local temporal texture des descriptors to represent the movement of object and imply the histogram of oriented optical flow approach to organize the optical flow of a region to compute the distance between two histogram object optical flows we develop a new distance measure based on the Weber's law which is simple and efficient the modifications are very useful to employ both the appearance and motion modes for the dynamic texture is that dynamic textures might be different from either spatial mode appearance and or temporal mode the motion field combining the spatial and temporal modes we explored the views of discriminant features of both the appearance and motion for the post segmentation of clustered dynamic textures it's the block diagram of our project. First, we will load the load video. The next one is frame conversion. Videos are converted into the frame. The next one is pre-processing. Then Gaussian filter will be applied for input frame and load video images. The next one is binary segmentation. Binary segmentation is the images segmentation is the process of part of digital image into multiple segments set of pixels also known as super pixels. The goal of segmentation is to simplify and or change the representation of the image into something that is more meaningful and easier to analyze the image segmentation is typically used to locate the objects and the boundaries in images then this more persistently image segmentation is the process of assigning a label to every pixel in an image such the pixels with the same label share certain visual characterizations the next one is hierarchical splitting hierarchical splitting is the figures we split each input frame into square regions of varying sizes here a necessary prerequisite for the following merging to be successful is that the individual regions are uniform in texture to do this task we use the following criterion to, to perform the splitting if the appearance or motion woods for splitting of the current region we perform splitting this splitting procedure is repeated rigorously on each sub region until none of the regions in one frame satisfy the criterion or the predetermined minimum patch wise sizes of this hierarchical splitting process the next one is acclimative merging this merging is the after the input frame has been split into patches of roughly uniform texture, we merge these similar adjacent regions patches until a stopping criterion is satisfied. The merger importance in algorithms minimal these regions pairs which satisfy the conditions. The similarity between these two regions is larger than the threshold. The appearance and the motion similarity between two regions computed in these functions, these pixels in the similar one to two regions it is computed to this number of pixels in the smaller one to the two regions then this each moving into the next merger we compute the future of each region by accumulating the histogram of lpp and lpw for the histogram optical flow of two merged regions the next one is texture segmentation texture segmentation is the pixel wise classification we perform the simple pixel wise classification to improve the localization of the boundaries to this end we switch into this dynamic texture classification made by using the appearance and motion features top histograms is the of this frame segments for the dynamic texture models in our implementation set this is values follows the same rules is yes, that the splitting and merging have they are performed in dimensions and frame by frame during the splitting merging steps both the spatial and temporal features of the dynamic textures are employed specifically the appearance of dynamic texture is described by a local spatial texture descriptors the temporal features of the dynamic textures the motions dynamic texture during the segmentation is described by the histogram optical flow and local temporal texture descriptors now let's see about the execution part i am having background main.m file then select the file right click then run file then here we have to select the automatic dynamic texture image segmentation then first of all 
you are select the load video then here we have to select the input video then this one is loaded video the next one is frame conversion totally 30 frames are converted into the video the next one is binary segmentation then here we have to select the any one of the frame then this one is frame the next one is noise removal process then gaussian filter will be applied for input images the next one is binary conversion then noise removal process is applied to the binary conversion in black and white images binary conversion is the image segmentation is the process of part of digital image into multiple segments set of pixels also known as super pixels the goal of segmentation is to simplify and or change the representation of the image into something that is more meaningful and easier to analyze the image segmentation is typically used to locate objects in the boundaries in the images the next one is select the splitting process then this one is hierarchical splitting hierarchical splitting is the using the futures accumulator mergings and the pixel wise classifications for this hierarchical splitting process hierarchical splitting process is very useful to this recursively split each input frame into square regions of varying sizes for this necessary pre-questing for the following merging to be successful is that the individual regions are uniform in texture to this task we use the following criterion to perform the splitting the next one is pixel wise segmentation pixel wise segmentation process is very useful to perform the simple pixel wise classification to improve the localizations of these boundaries do this and we switch into this dynamic texture segmentation mode by using the appearance and motion features top histograms of this histogram optical flow imaging this one is pixel wise segmentation process then this one is edge based segmentation then this one is blurred images this one is edge based segmentation edge based segmentation is this running the segmentation tool of dynamic texture one can of two observations as the following if two neighboring patches belonging to the same texture categories then this one is pixel wise image segmentation the text is basically the appearance of dynamic texture is described by a local spatial texture test descriptors the temporal features of the dynamic textures during the segmentation is described by this motion of dynamic texture during segmentation is described by this histogram optical flow and the local temporal te texture descriptor then next one is texture segmentation texture segmentation this one is texture segmentation texture segmentation process is the very useful to generate at the extension of the texture to the temporal domain then segment the dynamic texture challenging problems in this uh, work we address the problem of segmenting a dynamic texture into disjoint region a dynamic texture might be different from its spatial domain mode and our temporal mode to this we develop a framework based on the appearance and the motion nodes for this appearance mode we use a new local spatial texture descriptor to describe the spatial mode of the dynamic texture then this for the motion mode we use the optical flow and the local temporal texture descriptors to represent the temporal variable of the dynamic texture in optical flow we use the histogram of oriented optical flow to organize them to compute the distance between them uh, histogram optical flows we develop a simple effective and efficient distance measure than based on this addresses of this pixel voice image segmentation is developed to the texture segmentation method of applying supervised statistical learning then the finally this paper's conclusions for this Finally, the conclusion of this new framework for dynamic texture segmentation based on spatial temporal features. For the spatial mode, we employed a new texture features to categorize each region of a frame of dynamic texture. The histograms of this linear bit pattern and WLD features by this 
plan of dynamic texture the temporal mode we use the optical flow under the histograms of lpp and wdld features then dynamic texture to describe its motion field we also addressed the problem of choosing thresholds for the segmentation framework we developed a weighted web distance measure which is computationally simple then and comparison with existing methods this method is effective then the dynamic texture segmentations our method performs well on sequence with clustered background thank you